founded in 1979 by the Bick family of Bick Penn fame. Bick Sport grew from a passion for water sports and world-renowned expertise in sustainable manufacturing. Visit BickSport.com and learn more about our full range of water sports products. Welcome back to Facing Waves. This week we're in sunny Puerto Rico experiencing the endless paddling opportunities the island has to offer. After paddling all 278 miles of Puerto Rico's coastline, the crew decided to head to Rincon to do some sup surfing, one of the many activities the area boasts. It's a great island. You got a lot to see, a lot to do. Um, you'd be surprised uh, how many things you have to do in such a small territory. For paddleboarding, it's great. You got surf, you got downwind uh, places, you got flat water paddling that no one's really paddling in. These are really good spots. It's where um, kayak competitions are, you know, just really cool places. Um, Nature-wise, I mean, you got desert, you got rainforest, you got bioluminescent bays. Growing up here, I, I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. You got everything, you got downwind, upwind, <laughs> surf, flat water, you can paddle in rivers. In the west, in Rincon, you know, one of the best places in Puerto Rico to surf. My lady is strong free, more than baby mama to me. Beginner spots to just your nor normal frequently go to places and then you got hardcore Tres Palmas, Caballos, you know, that just the perfect swell comes in, it's just massive, it's good, you know, and I mean, you don't have to search that far, you got pretty good class, world-class waves here and the crowd compared to a lot of places is like, nada. We're at a very well-known surf spot near Isabella. There's a main peak, a couple side peaks, and it's about head high, maybe a little overhead. Uh, looks pretty fun out there. Easy like Sunday morning. Gonna ride that peak right there with no one on it. Recently I was introduced to this spot and I have to say I'm really pleased, it's really cool. You got awesome waves, you got a couple of breaks, a couple of peaks, so I mean today for me there was a crowd, you know, there were people, but there were enough waves for everyone, you know, and you could have your smaller size uh, sets and then you, out of nowhere, just this overhead massive swell just swept. For me, laid out surfing is a lot harder than paddleboard surfing. It just feels natural. Uh, just dropping in, I love dropping in on a, on a sub, like no fear. They have to be right in the perfect place to take off on a wave, where on an SUP, we have the freedom. You don't have to go to the main peak where everybody is. Right down the beach, there's probably a wave, or right around the corner of the point, there's a wave that no one's at. You know, my 9.4 is the shortest surfboard, uh, SUP surfboard. I can still paddle 15 miles in a day and surf different breaks and you know sometimes you feel like you're the first person to be there. Every wave is different but every wave has that same section of power that you want to be in. So to harness that on a 
essentially a small piece of fiberglass is really cool and you can feel that board underneath your feet, you know, just grabbing the water and accelerating. So let's take a quick look at what you're gonna need for an SUP expedition. Number one, in my opinion, is a board that can handle your weight and the weight of all your gear. Here we have the, the BIC Racetech Expedition Board. It's a custom board designed to handle the demanding conditions of going out into two different oceans. We've made this board so it can handle about 90 pounds of gear plus the weight of the paddler. So you'll notice the, the board has a lot of volume in the tail and up in the nose. The nose is designed to penetrate right through any chop or in following seas glides like a dream. Here in the tropics, you're really gonna need hydration. I carry a Vesta pack on my back full of water plus another gallon and a half of water on my deck. Another piece that you're gonna want is a three-piece breakdown paddle. You'd be surprised what can go wrong out there. If you lose your paddle or your paddle breaks, you'll be very happy to have a three-piece breakdown. It's weird, but one of my favorite pieces of gear that I cannot leave home without is a basic $1.99 blue tarp. I get to a beach, I lay it out, nothing gets sandy, nothing gets muddy. If it's rocky, you don't lose anything in between the cracks of the rocks. Everything is neat and organized. So that's the gear that works for me. The more you get out there and do it, the more you'll trim your program down and figure out what works for you. Visit BicSUP.com and check out the full range of stand-up paddleboards, paddles, and accessories.